Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to use Python as a data source in Power BI. So let us start. I've got this Power BI file open here with me and as a first step you would have set up your Python on your uh, Linux, Mac or Windows machine. So what you need to do is make sure that it's pointing to that installation so you can go onto the file. Let me just go back. So you go to the file tab and then you go to options and settings and then you click on options. And then you go into Power Python scripting, and you can see that it's detecting the where Python is installed. Otherwise, you have to point it there. So that's pretty much all. Once you've uh, set it up, uh, you should be able to use Python as a data source, or sorry, use Python script to get data into Power BI. So essentially, uh, we've got Python set up, but if you don't have it, you can look at the previous video in the series to learn to set up Python for Power BI. Uh, so from here, what we'll do is we'll go on to the get data. So on the home tab, you go to the get data ta uh, get data button, and then we scroll down and click on more. And then on the get data pop up, we click on other on the left hand side, and then we click on Python script, and then we click connect. So it opens a uh, pop up for us, and you can see that it is going to use this installation which we already saw is configured. And then it tells us that you can go back and configure it to use some other uh, installation if you want. So in any case, we'll uh, copy the first one. So this is the first one and the easiest one. Um, and anyone can probably use it. I'll leave a link to this in the video notes. So this is on the Microsoft site. And you can get this uh, one. So all you're doing is importing pandas as pd. And then you're, getting the you're creating a data frame. Uh, with uh, Alex so you've got the name and then the number and then you're setting the header here in the next one Where the first one is the name and the second one is the age and the data type is float for age And then we are printing the data frame. So all I'll, uh, that looks good. So all I'll do is go here and click OK So you can see that this data frame is now available to us with name and age so I can say load and Then this will become available to us in Power BI so that's all pretty good, but let's say you want to get data from uh, maybe a CSV file sitting on your machine. How do you go about doing that? So we'll learn also to do that. So again, we go to the get data tab, sorry, get data button. I'll go to the more option and then I'll click on other and then I'll click on Python script. And I've also got this Python script pre-written. So I'll just take you through the script. Uh, so I'll copy the one above that. and. So essentially, uh, it's the same. I'm importing the pandas library, and then I'm, I'll just call it df underscore csv. So I'm creating a data frame called df underscore csv, and it's reading data from a file which is sitting on my C drive, data, uh, Python sample data folder. Name of the file is usestockmarkets underscore na. And then I need to print df underscore csv because we change the name in the second uh, line. So that's it. And then we click OK, and you can see it's uh, that data is available to us as well. So either I can load or I can transform the data. So I'll click on the Transform Data tab here, and let's say I want to filter out for data which is uh, uh, not null. Sorry, so I just want to take out all nulls. So I can do that and click OK, and you can see that it has added another step. And then I can click Close and Apply. And you can see on the right side, df dot underscore csv is available to us, and we can go and filter. Uh, let's go back, and you can see this data a data set, data set has become available to us. So in this video, we've learned how to get data uh, using Python scripting uh, in Power BI. So we learned how to use uh, Python as a source. Uh, so Python script as a data is a source. Uh, to get data into Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topic. Cheers. Bye.